In this video, I want to make some plasma. And to do that, I have a microwave and I have some tin foil, I have some matches, I have a bunch of other stuff. I don't want to just make plasma and I don't just want to capture it. I want to make four different colors of plasma and capture each of them. So before I can actually make any plasma, I'm going to drill a hole in the back of my microwave so I can tape my phone up to the back of it and get a nice clear shot of what's going on inside. Microwaves have a wavelength of around 12 centimeters, so as long as I drill a hole that's short, smaller than 6 centimeters, uh, I should be okay. So I have a very small drill bit here. I believe I have taped up the phone pretty well. And you can now see inside the microwave. The colors of plasma that I want to make are yellow, blue, purple, and red. I'm going to start by making yellow because it should be the easiest to make. All I have to do is put a few matches inside the microwave and start it. I wanted to let the beaker cool for a little bit, so I just set it down on top of the microwave and we can see that some yellow gas was produced. This is nitrogen dioxide. So now that we have made a yellow plasma, I want to try and make a purple plasma. The reason that the previous plasma was yellow was probably because the sodium ions in the glass itself. So what I did to combat this is I sort of stole this idea from the YouTube channel Nile Red. I made a concentrated solution of potassium chloride and I sprayed it all over the glass and the aluminum foil and stuff like that. Because when potassium ions vaporize into the plasma state, they, it releases a purple color instead of when sodium ions vaporize to the plasma state, they release a yellow color. So let's see if we can get some purple plasma. So I'm going to spray the inside of this beaker with some highly concentrated potassium chloride solution. The next color of plasma that I would like to make is red. I'm going to do that by making a solution of lithium chloride and doing a similar process that we did with the potassium chloride. But first I'd like to show you guys a flame test with lithium. Lithium is one of my favorite elements, and I want to show you guys the beautiful color it emits when you burn it with a blowtorch. Here I have a tiny little piece of lithium at the end of this nail. We could see that once the lithium ions were heated to their excited state and they fell back down to ground state, they released the energy as a vibrant red flame. In here I have a concentrated solution of lithium chloride and water. I'm just going to spray the inside of this bottle. Oh, bird just hit a window in here. Let's see if we can get some beautiful red plasma. I think the lithium plasma worked better than all the other ones. That was just beautiful. So we made red, yellow, and purple plasma. And we sort of made blue. But I'm going to do something a little bit extra and try and make some rich blue. Here I have a beaker with a little bit of water in it. I got it wet. And I'm going to put some aluminum powder in the beaker and mix it around and try and get as much to stick to the top and to the sides as possible. And then I'm just going to do the same thing, initiate the plasma with uh, some crumpled up aluminum foil. And we're going to see if we can get these aluminum ions to create a beautiful blue color. The aluminum coating worked a little bit too well. I probably put a little bit too much aluminum in there, but I'm going to try anyway. I don't know how good the visibility will be, but we're just going to do it.
We didn't really get much blue plasma, but we did get an insanely cool effect.